Hello coders, welcome back to my channel Lazy Coder. Today we will see employee management system. So in this project, I have implemented various features including managing the employees, departments, leave uh, management of employee, payroll system, attendance, announcement. So there are multiple features are there that I have implemented. Uh, we will see it one by one. So before proceeding with projects, let's go to my channel Lazy Coder. So this is my channel where I have uploaded multiple projects including a student management system, face recognition, attendance system and college management, insurance, gym management, online queue system, movie ticket booking. So various projects I have uploaded. So you can check this out on my channel. And before proceeding to employee management system, please subscribe to my channel so that it will motivate me to make more projects. Let's go to the employee management system. So this is the admin dashboard. I have already log created the account of admin and I have logged in. So first let's log out from the admin account and let's see the home page of this uh, employee management system. So this is the home page. Okay, you can check this out. Like this is the navigation bar and uh, this is the footer. And here I have described all those things like employee management, payroll system, and whatever the features are there in the project, I have mentioned here, okay? And this is the home page, about us page. I have simply not given much details here. You can uh, fill it. And this is the contact, and this is the login page, okay? And this is the sign up. And the sign up page is uh, for the employee that uh, someone wants to join this uh, EMS system then uh, they can fill their details like uh, these ones and uh, department uh, they can uh, these are the department that are added by uh, admin uh, initially if admin have not added then uh, you can check um, leave it as a blank only okay so let's log in as a admin now Okay, so uh, if we see this page dashboard, then uh, there is a one button here add new employee. So if we click on it, uh, it will uh, just open that uh, sign up form uh, here admin can also add the employee. Okay, and here select the department experience and all those things and then submit the form. Okay, and then employee will be added. Okay, and this is the logout button and if we click on the dashboard again. So here it is displaying all those things. Uh, it will display here first to raise date, okay, and that is 27th of uh, August, okay. And here total employee will be shown here, and how many employee are on leave today? That will be displayed here, okay. And how many departments are there in this system? So it is showing here and pending approvals. So how many leave pending approvals are there? Suppose uh, some employee have uh, uh, applied for leave and that is pending so it will be shown here okay and uh, here present today so attendance if uh, someone is present i will show you this in number will be increased once uh, once employee will log in and mark their attendance then it will be increased to one okay and total announcement is one approved leaves so that will i will show in uh, upcoming parts okay so and this is the pending payrolls so let's click on the first uh, let's go to one by one so click on the view employee so here uh, admin can uh, admin can see the all the employee list with the salary and how many years of experience uh, it have okay and uh, admin can also update the details suppose if uh, admin uh, suppose wants to change the name sumit to sumit one okay, then click on the update you can see the name is updated to sumit one okay and uh, admin can also delete the uh, employee so currently I'm not deleting it okay so admin can delete it I have already shown you this add employee so the, these button this add new employee and this uh, add employee both are same okay both will redirect to the same page okay so adding employee and uh, these things are the same okay and one more thing is there in this view employee suppose uh, someone have signed up then their account will not be auto approved First, admin have to click uh, on the approve. Then only uh, status will be approved. 
okay uh, suppose admin have reject then uh, their account will be uh, status will be shown as a pending okay so if admin is adding then it will be shown will be uh, status will be approved only okay uh, let's go to the department so let's click on the view department same thing like uh, admin can edit and delete the uh, departments so suppose let's update it as a finance one okay so now you can see the department is finance one suppose if i want to delete the security uh, then it's saying confirm delete so you can see that now security has gone and the dashboard is also operated with the total department five earlier it was six okay and from here also we can go to that view view documents departments so if we click on the view department it is showing here okay and leave management so if we click on the new uh, leave manage leaves here it is saying that no leave request found why because uh, no employee have applied for leave so i will log in as a employee and i will show you that uh, how how employee can apply for leave and uh, admin will have the rights to either accept or reject that leave request okay i will show you i will raise two request uh, okay so and uh, i admin will approve one request and then it will reject one another request and then uh, admin can manage the payrolls uh, payrolls means uh, the salary parts okay so suppose uh, uh, employee one uh, first admin have to create the payroll okay so if and then uh, select the employee okay suppose uh, sumit is there and salary 9000 okay and pay period so suppose if i want to pay the for july okay let's suppose june only so let's click on the 1st of June to 30th of June, okay? And create payroll, okay? So now uh, their payroll is created, okay? But uh, then again, uh, it has to create, uh, click on this process payment. Process payment means that it will be sent to their bank account. So click on the uh, process payment, okay? Then it their account is paid, okay? And so I will show you this uh, means employee can uh, download the pay slip also. Okay. And these are the, for the attendance. So managing the attendance. So suppose uh, some uh, employee have logged in, then uh, there is option of uh, clock in. So whenever they will clock in, employee will clock in, uh, this time will be shown and then clock out time will be shown here. Okay. And suppose uh, some employee have uh, missed the, their attendance. So admin can mark their attendance also so suppose if i want to mohan and for the date uh, maybe tomorrow okay and let's suppose check in out is this one only and yeah okay so now you can see here 25 26th and date is marked as a uh, means this clock in clock out time is showing here and announcement is also same like uh, suppose admin wants to announce something to all the employees then uh, this will be the details like uh, i have already added this title there will be holiday on the 29th of july so this announcement will be shown to all the employees so uh, suppose if i want to show one more uh, announcement like maintenance there will be downtime Mm, tomorrow twenty eighth okay so here it is and the same can be deleted suppose if I want to delete uh, then it can be also done so now you can see okay so now i will log out as a admin and then i will log in as a uh, what we say employee okay so let's click on the log out now click on the login okay so when uh, employee have logged in 
uh, these are the dashboard these are uh, you can see the different dashboard for the employee right uh, here it is saying pending leave request approved leave this month and attendance this month two days uh, i have marked right uh, 25th and 26th right and so i will mark for the 27 also that is today okay and announcement is one so let's go to the leave management uh, okay so these are the leave history so there is no leave history right now so i will create uh, means employee will create the apply for the leave suppose uh, mohan wants to take the leave from uh, first of september to Oh, let's suppose fourth uh, of uh, September, right? And region is uh, something like a holiday vacation. Okay, and let's click on the submit. So, if when employee have submitted uh, applied for the leave, uh, status uh, gone to pending, and all the details are showing here. Okay, and if we click on the dashboard, now you can see the pending leave request is one and uh, if admin uh, will approve this request then it will come to this uh, card approved leaves will be uh, become one okay so these are the things and my pay slip so uh, you can see that a status is pending means it is not paid so once admin will process the payment click on the process payment then it will be uh, shown as a paid but uh, and uh, but employee can download the pay slip Suppose if uh, employee clicks on the pay slip, then uh, their pay slip and the name and the for the which month it is a uh, salary slip is there, so it is showing here. And so if we click on the save and then open it, so here you can see that the company name in the PDF, all those details are coming. Name, uh, you can modify this uh, like uh, name of the company, address, and uh, period okay and what is the basic salary and all those things are showing here okay so these are the pdfs okay these are about the pay slips and attendance suppose uh, some employee have logged in then it will click on the my attendance okay and you can see that 25th and 26th uh, attendance is marked uh, right but not for the two days day that is 27th of august okay 27th of August is there, right? So let's click on the clock in. So here you can see that clocked in successfully message showing here, and here also uh, it is marked as a uh, clocked in, right? And then uh, let's uh, clock out uh, on the same time. So 1:21 p.m. will be shown here. So let's click on the clock out. Okay. So now. Uh, for the two days date it is marked as a uh, clock in but you one more thing you can notice like employee can't uh, mark the attendance for uh, yesterday date or maybe day after tomorrow or any other date it will only have option for the two days date suppose uh, it, uh, employee wants to check out uh, some uh, check out again then it will not allow so if we click on the clock out it is saying you have already clocked out today or clock in for the same option it will be shown you have already clocked in right and let's go to the announcement so view announcement so here it is saying that uh, on which date it is there so there will be downtown tomorrow 28th of august okay and if we click on the uh, dashboard then uh, you can see that pending leave request is one announcement and now it increased to three days right uh, because three day attendance is marked for this month August right and so now let's uh, apply for one more leave uh, because uh, I will uh, I will what we will do I will reject one request and then uh, approve one request so suppose suppose I want to leave for today's date only 27 to 28 uh, vomiting fever or you can also right okay so uh, this uh, you uh, employee Mohan have applied two leaves right uh, September 1 
to September 4th, August 27 to 28. So I will mark this uh, means I will log in as admin and then uh, approve this request and reject this request. Okay. So let's go to the first dashboard. So now it pending leave request is two, right? And this is still zero. Okay. So let's log out as admin uh, employee and let's go log in as admin. okay so now you can see that uh, pending uh, approvals is two right okay and approved leave present today is also showing one why because mohan has marked the attendance for today's date right okay and if uh, another employee suppose uh, another employee is also there sumit kumar right so sumit kumar also checked uh, clock in for today's date then uh, this uh, present uh, today will be increased to two okay and approved leaves so it is a zero right and on leave today so it is also zero so let's click on the leave part payment approval and uh, i am approving this request one request for today's date because it is fever i am approving it and then i am rejecting it right okay so now let's go to the dashboard now you can see present today's uh, one okay on leave today uh, one by because one employee have left uh, i have approved right request for today's due to fever right and approved leave is one right and this becomes zero and let's click on the process payment for mohan also okay now pending roles becomes uh, payrolls becomes zero right now log, in, log out as admin and log in as a uh, employee. Okay, now you can see here pending leaves request is zero. Earlier it was two, right? And approved leaves um, is one. So let's go to the leave management, leave history. Okay, it is saying it records all the details rejected one also rejected meals will not be deleted Okay, and now go to the payroll my pay slip it will be shown as a paid by because admin has processed the payment So these are the features for the employee management system many more features can also be implemented I have uh, implemented most common things like attendance payroll leave management announcement Okay, so these are the things so people before uh, closing down this video please subscribe to lazy Korea. it will really motivate me to make more projects uh, thank you so much Help.